Hello everyone, welcome to the Coders Lab. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to save data to our Firebase database. Um, we're going to do so by creating a sign-up page for your iOS app. So up until this point, we have Firebase installed, and if you haven't done so yet, I'll post a link in the description so that you can learn how to do that. But up until this point, we got our pod file. We have Firebase, Firebase Authentication, and Firebase Database installed. If you then look at our Google Service Info.plist, we've downloaded that, and we've also imported Firebase, and put the firapp.configure <coughs> in there to uh, configure our, our app in Firebase. Now, first thing that we're going to do is go to our storyboard and in the storyboard we will put some text fields there so that we can get data from the user. So you place your text field on the view controller, stretch it out to the edges, push command D to duplicate that text field, and then we're going to make two more of these by also pressing Command D. And we're also going to place a button down so the first text field if we go on the right hand side here in our attributes inspector we'll be able to put a placeholder here for email we'll center that and then we'll go to the next text field and put password and we'll center that as a placeholder and then two extra bits of data that we're going to collect are age so for password we're going to click on it and go into the attributes inspector and put secure text entry because we don't want people to be able to see the password that we're entering um, and let's change the text on our button so we can do that up here where we say sign up we'll make that a little bit bigger so that it actually shows and we'll center it so I'm going to put some constraints on these text fields so that they stay within any kind of screen that they're being used on this tutorial isn't really about auto layout so I'll probably be making another tutorial about auto layout at some later date so we're going to add constraints to each of these text fields. Now I'm going to add constraints onto the button just to make sure that it attains its width and height. Also, I'm going to have it horizontally centered. Now that's done, I'm going to go over here and uh, enter the assistant editor. That way I can make outlets for all of these text fields. So we'll hold down control, click on your, on your text field, and then drag it into the code and name it so this one will name email text field yeah and we'll do that for all of these other so now that we have all these outlets here we're going to create an action with this button and that's where we're going to tell the program to store the state there so i will undo it and i'll click on my button again push control and drag it into the code and the connection type should be outlet or sorry should be action instead of outlet so we'll say sign up rest and this creates a function that's executed when our button is pressed so when our button is pressed the first thing that we want to do is create a user so we've imported firebase already in our file we can actually get out of um, <clears throat> excuse me, the assistant editor now and go back into our viewcontroller.txt here. So when we go to this function sign up pressed, we can type in fir off 
dot a u t h um, dot create user with email and so the string here is going to be email tf dot text and exclamation mark to unwrap that password will be pass tf dot text another exclamation and will be handed back a user and an error and we'll get it to print the error so let's test out our app at this point and see if it works if we run it we should be able to enter an email and a password and have a user created which we can then see in our console for Firebase. So there we go, our app loaded and we can now type in an email. So we'll put this, we'll call it testing at gmail.com. And for our password, we will call it, uh, we'll just make up a password. So for, we'll leave age and location empty for now, and we'll just push our sign up button. Now let's go take a look at authentication in our Firebase console. And there we go. Testing at gmail.com was created. We have a unique user ID that we could use in other places in our app. And now we will go back and uh, store the location and the age in our Firebase database. So once the button is pressed, the sign up button is pressed, we can create a reference. We'll call it ref. And um, so you create a reference to your Firebase database, and this basically puts you at the base of the JSON tree. So you type fir database dot database dot reference. And at this point, you're at the base of the JSON tree. So if I wanted to only store things in a place called um, user info, I would create a child and call it user info, just like that. Um, and so now, now that I have my reference, I can go in here. Or can so now what we can do to store um, if a user is created successfully, then we want to store their location and their age. So we'll type ref dot set value, and in here we can store four kinds of data. So you could store an NS array, an NS dictionary, an NS string, or an NS number. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll make and we'll say uh, the location is equal to location tf dot text the age will be equal to age tf dot text and we'll unwrap that and there we go so that's all it takes is you have a reference to your database um, at the point where it says just reference that's the root of your JSON tree and then you can add children uh, to, to um, specify where you want your data stored in different categories for example and then so our reference is ref we said ref dot set value and we put location and age in there so let's run that and try to store some of that data in the Firebase database um, so it's giving me an error because I didn't put self because I define those outside of this enclosure so now that our app is booted let's create another user We'll call it tester2 at gmail.com. We'll put a password in and we'll store our age. We'll say 30 and location will be Toronto. And I'll push sign up and we'll go over here to our Firebase console. If you click on database, we now have a user info child that was created. And as you can see, the age is 30 and the location is Toronto. So we can delete this data from here, from this console, or we could delete it programmatically. Um, but anytime you uh, set a value, even if 
the node has not been created before, it'll be created the first time you store it. Just like we noticed here where we didn't have a user info until the first time we made this. So I hope this was beneficial for you. If you have any comments, please uh, let me know. And if you have any ideas for other tutorials, please let me know. I'll be doing a tutorial on how to retrieve this data from 